Hello everybody and welcome to Lone Star Beer Reviews. Uh, my name is Chad for those who do not know and today we received some beer mail from one of my good friends Miscellaneous Magnets also known as Miscellaneous Beer Reviews. Um, I will link his channels down in the description of this video. Um, he did say he was going to send me some beers uh, so this is where it is. I got the uh, the L Star, aka Lone Star. So, Miscellaneous Magnus, I appreciate you. I thank you. Um, now to open the box and see what we got. And by the way, I'm going to keep this very uh, short and sweet. Um, I'm not going to really try to edit it too much, just because I got to study for a test today. So, uh, oh, that didn't work. Let's try this again. And yeah, I'm gonna chop my finger off here in a minute. Watch this. Watch this super cool trick. Chop my finger off. Sonic. There we go. Almost freaking hacked something else off. <laughs> Scissors got a little crazy. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Um, got a little bubble wrap in there, nice and nice and packed. Let's see here. Say so get he sent me two of them. So we'll start off with the first one that rolls out here. And here we have something that I've been wanting to try for a little while ever since I saw it. It is Sour Me Unicorn Farts out of Dewclaw Brewing Company out of Baltimore, Maryland. Clocks in at whoop at a sweet 5.5 ABV. Um Let's see here. This pony up for a taste of this glittered sour ale brewed with a trio of fruit, fruity cereal, and a swirl of edible glitter. Based on the flavor profile of this famous unicorn farts donut made with fruity cereal, this beer is medium bodied with big fruit notes, slight tartness, plus a hint of malty biscuit. A, a, f a fantastical collaboration between Duclaw Brewing Company and Diablo Donuts. So, there. It's about donut and beer, Duclaw, Diablo Donuts. Here's the can art, pretty cool. Sour me unicorn farts. So that'll be a good tasty beer. I'm looking forward to drinking that. So that'll be awesome. Thank you again, Miscellaneous Magnets. And then the second one we got here. Let's see. What do we got here? Seventh Sun Brewing Headbanger IPA India Pale Ale. Um, let's see here. This clocks in at a cool. Uh, let's see. This is from Lakeland, Florida. So good old Florida boy brewing company right here. Um, let's see. Uh, where is the ABV on this? I must be blind as a bat or they do not post it. I do not, not see an ABV on here. Um, it says beer for the sunshine state. That's pretty cool. Beer for the sunshine state. Here's the can art. Seventh Sun Brewing Headbanger IPA India Pale Ale. and has a little bit of scripture on the back and I'll read that. It says, with two tasting rooms featuring 10 taps in Dunedin and 28 in Tampa, check out 7thSun.com up to up-to-date tap listings, available cans, bottles, and more. Headbanger India Pale Ale. This IPA is light in color. Uh, finishes dry, dominated by sycamore and citra hops. A fruity citrus flavor, aroma complement, and a medium bitterness. So this looks really, really good. Um, We've got a recent born on date, so everything should be still fresh, but a pretty cool can art there. I mean, it's simple, but very, very cool. So those are the uh, two beers that I received from Miscellaneous Magnets. Oop, there we go. Um, like I said, I will link both of his channels down in the description of this video. Um, he's a good guy. He does a lot of magnet fishing, does great beer reviews. Um, he's all over YouTube doing different... Um, 
the different things with beer and cheese and all kinds of good stuff. So definitely go check out his channel. Good guy. Um, and on that note, I'm going to end this. So everybody have a great day. Next time you see me, beer me. Cheers.